approaching this city of romance and excitement, our train speeds down the magnificent Hudson Valley, along one of the most beautiful rivers in the world. For many miles below Albany, the majestic Hudson flows through the gently rolling Catskills, past neat, quiet towns settled by the Dutch and prominent in the early history of our nation. At the highlands, Breakneck and Storm King Mountains form spectacular backdrops for the parade of the Great Steel Fleet. There's West Point and the massive buildings of the United States Military Academy, home of tomorrow's generals. This is the country of Washington Irving and his tales of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. On a moonless night, Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horsemen still ride their race through lanes and byways that lie above the river. At Spikendival, our train leaves the scenic Hudson and glides along the Harlem River crossing the last bridge to Manhattan Island. For a fleeting moment, the city seems to surround the train. Then the dive into the tunnel under Park Avenue warns that our journey is nearly at an end. There is excitement in the air as passengers make ready to leave the train. The great moment arrives, and here is Grand Central Terminal, the gateway to a continent. This is a wonderland, a veritable city beneath the city. Honeycombed with passages to subways, hotels, and office buildings, and complete with stores for every need, Grand Central Terminal plays host to more than half a million people in a single day. There it is, New York, the wonder city. A magic city of marvels and superlatives. Small wonder O. Henry called it Baghdad on the subway. The handsome New York Central building and the towering Chrysler Spire are gleaming landmarks in the Grand Central Zone. One of the great cosmopolitan centers of the world, this area attains new prominence through the United Nations development nearby. Church is nestled deep among the skyscrapers of the financial district at the head of Wall Street. The quaint churchyard provides a restful haven for office workers who like to browse among its historic monuments. Wall Street is sometimes called the nerve center of the nation, for it is the headquarters of many of our great industrial firms. In spite of the feverish activity of the district, people find time for a friendly word and pleasant pursuits. Nearby is the Tavern, where General Washington bade farewell to his officers. The tavern is now a museum and restaurant. Harbor activity of the great port of New York presents a spectacle which fascinates visitors and New Yorkers alike. From the battery, one may view the daily procession of great ocean liners entering or leaving the harbor. The largest of the city's ten fireboats is stationed nearby to protect docks and shipping. No visit to New York is complete without a trip to the Statue of Liberty. Situated on tiny Bedloe's Island in the upper bay, it is reached by year-round excursion steamer, a pleasant voyage of 20 minutes. America's renowned symbol of freedom, the gift of the people of France, has inspired voyagers to our shores with new hope and courage. One of the best ways to see New York is from the deck of a sightseeing yacht, making a complete tour around Manhattan Island. 
From the harbor, Manhattan's skyline presents a dramatic and changing panorama as the boat passes South Ferry and heads up the busy East River. At Midtown, the skyline rises again, where fashionable apartments are perched at the river's edge. The Cornell Medical Center and New York Hospital tower above the East River Drive at 68th Street. The Harlem River is really a ship canal connecting the East River and the Hudson River and separating the boroughs of Manhattan and the Bronx. At Spikendival, the boat turns to follow the broad Hudson down Manhattan's west side, past towering apartments with their spectacular view and under the great George Washington Bridge. From Midtown to the Battery, there is an unbroken row of piers and shipping. At Bowling Green, Broadway begins its meandering course northward through Manhattan. City Hall Park is nearby and provides a quiet oasis in the busy financial district. The old stone walls of City Hall could tell many tales from New York's colorful history. Washington Square at Greenwich Village marks the beginning of fabulous Fifth Avenue. Fronting on the park are some of New York's fine old homes which retain an air of gracious living. The wading pool provides welcome diversion for city children on warm summer days. A unique and colorful outdoor art show is held each spring and fall in the village. Artists display their work in the hope of securing financial reward and lasting fame. Here's a novel way of sightseeing. It is said that Abraham Lincoln once peered through this century-old telescope, but you can be sure he saw nothing like the Empire State Building. Let's visit the observatory of the world's tallest building. On a clear day, visitors can see the entire area of greater New York. The New York Public Library stands at 5th Avenue and 42nd Street. Besides its famous collection of books, it houses many interesting exhibits. The pigeons find generous friends on the broad library steps. The delights of a New York shopping tour will never be forgotten. Streets are lined with stores fairly bulging with merchandise to suit every taste and pocketbook. As the shopping center of America, New York offers modern, beautiful stores appealing to every member of the family. On Fifth Avenue between 48th and 54th Streets are the 12 acres of Rockefeller Center. 14 huge buildings connected by underground passages are included in this mammoth development, significant in architecture and decorative art. The graceful Prometheus Fountain dominates the lower plaza, which serves as a charming outdoor cafe in summer and an ice skating rink in winter. Tours of the center are conducted by trim and courteous centerettes who explain the interesting features. High point of the tour is a visit to the observation roof of the towering RCA building, 70 stories above the street, presenting another magnificent view of New York City. The NBC tour will take you behind the scenes of an international broadcasting system. 
Perhaps you will see your favorite commentator interpreting the news to millions of people throughout the world. If you choose, you may be televised through a demonstration set up to the amusement of your friends in an adjoining room. Radio City Music Hall, the largest theater in the world, is one of three theaters in Rockefeller Center. This showplace of the nation presents an elaborate program of stage and motion picture entertainment. Its symphony orchestra, ballet corps, and the delightful Rockettes are featured performers. Just across Fifth Avenue rise the towers of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Here, flying buttresses and scowling gargoyles proclaim the glories of old world architecture in the very heart of new world functional design. These cabbies are not worrying about the delivery of new models. The older the better for a leisurely ride through New York's vast central park. Flanked by towering apartments and hotels, the lakes and shaded walks offer a pleasant retreat from the city's roaring traffic. Though best known for its matchless collection of paintings, the museum offers many other fascinating exhibits. In the Hall of Armor, children will gaze in awe at knights mounted on dashing chargers. Mother and Dad will enjoy the American wing, with its display of charming early American interiors. among New York's cultural institutions is the city's own museum, which traces a fabulous history from Indian settlement to modern metropolis. The American Museum of Natural History features a remarkable exhibit of wild animal specimens mounted in settings of their native habitat. The numerous educational exhibits cover a wide range of subjects, from these glass models of microscopic animal life to the arts and crafts of ancient civilizations. In this specially designed auditorium, the ever-changing drama of the heavens is presented in breathtaking reality. A bus ride up Riverside Drive brings us to Grant's tomb, a fitting monument to a great soldier whose foremost thoughts were of peace and a united country. The campus of Columbia University is but a few blocks east of the drive at this point. Continuing our journey uptown, we pause to view the mighty Hudson as new and wonderful panoramas greet us. A walk through Fort Tryon Park leads to a unique and charming museum. Priceless bits of medieval churches have been brought from the old world to this lovely setting standing high above the river. more than a mere showplace of beautiful flowers, the New York Botanical Garden conducts a broad program of research and education. The great conservatories, housing countless varieties of native and exotic plants, are surrounded by outdoor gardens and woodlands covering more than 200 acres.
publications, exhibits, lectures, and tours have made the organization famous throughout the world. The Bronx Zoo is maintained as a living textbook of zoology. New techniques in exhibition are constantly explored. In the African Plains section, the animals are presented in their natural surroundings, without bars or cages to mar the illusion. The zoo management offers every encouragement to the amateur photographer. Groups of wide-eyed schoolchildren learn elementary zoology by first-hand observation. This delightful collection of small animals brings eager young folk face to face with their favorite nursery rhyme characters. Peter Rabbit, Baba, Black Sheep, and many other old friends are presented in storybook surroundings. Many of the friendly inhabitants may be handled and fed by the young visitors. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's the one and only Coney Island. It's the big ride. It's the fast ride. It's fun for everybody. It upsets the equilibrium and settles the disposition. It awes you, it fascinates you. It's educational and sensational. It's for every member of the family. Step right up close, folks, for the hand is quicker than the eye. Yes, sir, it's dollars to donuts. You'll have the time of your life at New York's incredible Coney Island. New York offers baseball at its big league best. And yes, sometimes at its second best. Good or bad, it's but a few minutes away from midtown Manhattan by subway or elevator. Times Square and the Great White Way. Comes night and New York transfers its interest from workaday cares to fun and frolic. In a never-ending Mardi Gras, night is transformed into a shimmering world of make-believe by the signs that flash in dazzling array. Here the great stars of show business rise and fall in a procession that makes New York the entertainment capital of the world. Scores of restaurants and nightclubs beckon to fun seekers who flock to the Great White Way. Back once more in exciting Grand Central Terminal, we find the famous trains of the Great Steel Fleet ready to serve us with convenient, dependable schedules. Any day and every day, in good weather or bad, this modern luxury travel equipment waits to speed you to your destination. Whether you travel in coach or sleeping car, all the comfort that modern engineering can provide is yours to enjoy. New cars and new ideas to tempt the traveling. Modern rail travel means relaxation day and night. It means fast service, conveniently timed to save precious business hours. It means safety and peace of mind for you. Thousands of central men and women work as a skilled and courteous team to make your journey a pleasant experience.